This conference uh, will now be recorded. No, but uh, actually, I would urge you to work in the system rather than seeing the video. Yeah, yeah, I will do that today. I will do that today. Oh, that's really because it, it will look like that everything is understood, but you will get doubts for sure. I can guarantee you that. Okay. So it's better that you work on the system and mm -hmm. get things. Just a minute. I'm just looking at the system. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, I have sent you uh, one server access details also. If, uh, I mean, as it is a backup server, you can use that one also. In the chat box, you can find it, the details. Okay, not a problem. But I think it is better that you email us so that uh, we don't lose it. So it will be in the so already I have sent. Uh, already I have sent to Kronol. I will be mailing you. Not a problem. Yeah, both the emails yeah. if possible. You can put it. I mean, both the server access. You can put it in one email and send it to us. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sir. I'll do that. Uh, that will actually help us. Now you can see my screen, right? Yes, I can. Which user ID we were using now? ISR002? Yeah, right now I was using that. New ISR2, I believe. Right? Or new ISR? This is confusing. Yesterday we used ISR002. And same password, right? India123. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I said that yesterday we were seeing. Okay. I'll open the Excel. So, as a scenario, what we saw, we brought, we ordered a Vivo, received the stocks into DC, correct? So, we have received the stocks so far into DC. Now, we have inward, we have, I have shown you inverting stocks for all types of articles single generic and prepack and all those stuff. Now, what happens is like, uh, as I said, while uh, invert, then the next step is we will move the stock to stores, right? C, S, T, 1, like that. Here also we will move. So this will be a movement. Uh,
okay so we will be moving stock from dc to store and finally we will be selling it to the customer uh, okay. sales to the customer so so until this pogr this is called the procure to pay cycle so actually speaking here it is this is what po and gr is called the procure to pay cycle and after that we are moving is the shipping our stocks for sales so this is the internal stock movement from dc to store and dc Correct. to store can happen between with two types either with shipping or without shipping so what is that with shipping or without shipping so basically when i say with shipping what happens is like we actually uh, uh, take the stock from this dc okay then we actually do a goods issue from this DC so that it will reduce the stock here. Okay, it will reduce the stock here and it will put the stock uh, in transit so that during the time the lorry or uh, the truck that uh, ships from uh, DC one to store one, okay, that stock will be in transit, right? So that stock will be in transit, okay? And after that, when the uh, truck reaches the store, they will do a goods receipt and the stock will get positive. So the stock, once you do a goods receipt here, what happens immediately? The stock in transit will vanish. Okay. Oh shit, it's not working. It is taking a formula. Okay, fine. So it will get positive in the stock there. When when you don't do shipping, what happens is like the moment you do a goods issue here, automatically the stock gets in, gets updated here. So that will not be no uh, that you cannot track the stock in transit or anything. So when this uh, uh, you do with shipping and without shipping is like because when you do with shipping, normally you can actually track the flow of goods automatically. I mean uh, tra track the flow of goods and you can do it for auditing purpose as well. So so for instance. There are certain situations where like when you do a store to store transfer or a DC to store transfer, what happens is like you order, a, you raise an STO, say for instance, store raises that I would need 100 quantities of article one. So DC actually manually packs only 90 of these articles, but issues for 100, right? But the store, if they don't do actual counting and they uh, invert it, what happens immediately? All the stock will get updated in the store and they will just receive and keep it. But when they physically receive or physically they have received only 90 stock, but in the system they have updated 10. So it might lead to some kind of confusions and all those stuff. So that is why it gives you an opportunity to do with both shipping and with shipping and one step and two step. So when I say with shipping, it will stock will be issued at the sending site and it will go, the stock will go for stock and transit. Then the receiving site will uh, scan the items and do the goods receipt so that it will get updated when i say one step two step what is the difference is like one step is like the moment and the sending side issues the stock automatically the receiving uh, the stock will get updated at the receiving site and the stock will get minus at the sending site whereas in a two step he has to do a goods issue and this store has to do a goods receiving that is called the two step okay the shipping comes into picture only with two-step processing, not with the one-step processing, because there is no way to do that, right? So that's how it is. Clear? Yep. So for STO, what are the for SPRO? With shipping, what are the configurations that you need to do? I'll show you. Material management, purchasing. Purchase orders, set up stock transport order. Here you have something called assign delivery type and checking rule, correct? Here you have to come, click on new, shit. We will copy this entry, okay? So the purchasing document type that we'll be using for stock transport order is UB. That's the standard. Okay. From which side that you are going to issue this 
ZDC1. Okay, and the standard document type delivery type is NL, and checking rule is 01. That's it. You need to enter. Okay, and you have to click on save. Okay, now what happens? You can go back. Supplying plan. See, the moment you rise to stock transport order, automatically this will say uh, change from vendor to supplying plan. So you type ZTC1 and what article you want to ship. So let's do. This article we will see. Okay. From ten pieces we will shift to ZST one and to storage location thousand. So the moment I press enter, what happens is I'm initiating a stock transfer from supplying site. To the store so what happens material data everything comes and you have called something called shipping the moment you do this configuration okay this one uh, assign delivery type and checking rule and you save the sto you will get this tab shipping so it will clearly say what delivery type we're using what is the shipping point you remember in the initial enterprise structure configuration we did shipping point assign shipping yeah. point and all those of that one and loading group from the article master okay and she, uh, from for this loading group okay and for this delivery type and shipping configuration you will receive the shipping in these days so planned delivery time is two days and customer is this one and in this sales area you will define so you have to extend the zst1 store into this distribution chain i think but you remember like uh, we were doing this what is that wb03 okay z s t1 okay so this store must be a customer okay in this distribution chain so that is what it is coming okay if you don't have extend this site in this distribution chain you will get an error Okay. okay. Next is this uh, customer. Two things are important. First is you need to determine the shipping point. Okay. Next is you need to assign the delivery type configuration. That are the two prerequisites for uh, having the shipping tab. So you have something called here customer pricing procedure, right? No, not this one. Wait. Shipping, where is it? Shipping. Ah, shipping conditions. So what we will do is we will first assign this. So you take this shipping condition and for article master, the loading group, right? This loading group okay for shipping condition and this loading group we would have assigned one configuration where how the what shipping point should be determined correct so that will come here in logistic execution in the shipping and uh, that basic shipping functions shipping points and goods receiving point assign shipping points here you would have defined you remember this configuration we did so yeah. for no shipping condition for loading group and for site where will i go and the search option now here to see 
okay for this because we didn't have any uh, shipping condition and for loading group from site master for supplying site z001 zk01 is the shipping point that is what it was determined okay okay then for this shipping point and uh, for this shipping point and for this order type this delivery type will be determined is that clear and the third check with the system will do is if the customer is assigned this uh, to this sales area that's what these three checks it will do and the moment it everything is satisfied shipping tab will be enabled okay if any if you are receiving that shipping can, there is an issue with uh, related to it cannot be supplied or anything you need to check only these three things okay okay so now i'm going to say this Now, what happens actually is okay. Now, if you check, we will go to any duty which is we can give multiple DCs and types, so which will give you easy idea. This is an another transaction code to see the stocks. Okay. Okay. So now if you see thousand five. Okay, thousand five has hundred stocks. Okay. Okay. But ZAC one does not have any stock. So the moment you raise a stock transport order, there will be no goods movement because that is just a document. So when the actual goods movement will happen, you do a goods issue. So how do you do a goods issue? Because we have generated this with the shipping document. I mean, with shipping. So what are that? What you need to do is you have to go to VL 10B transaction. Okay. Then you have to give our purchase order here, the one which we raised. Okay. Now you have to click on execute. Then it will create a goods delivery document. Okay. So once you issue this delivery document will be given to the truck driver when he is carrying the stock. So in the any of the check post or any uh, thing they get it, I get hold of it. He will give this delivery document, which will tell him what he is carrying in a truck. Okay. Get it like that and click on background. So this shipping will be used primarily for two purposes. One for legal reasons when the truck driver is carrying, he wants to know what he is carrying. And the next reason is to have the for all enable auditing purpose so that you don't have the leakage of stocks. Suppose the store is just like very closer by and you don't you just need to transfer and those things you will not require shipping. Okay. First thing the screen is working, I believe, for this user ID. Comparing all the standard programs. This is the uh, two step process we are doing, right? Yeah. yeah. It is taking ages to complete. Ah, finally done. <laughs> so you have to select this and to display the delivery document, you can click this. Okay, show hide delivery, the truck button. Okay, you will get this delivery document number. Okay. okay. You click this, you will it will take to the delivery. So I will I will list down the T codes as well so that it is easy for you. So that 
thing is this is the document number okay now go here so this is me 21 n okay then we will go to bl 10 b to generate the delivery right then mm -hmm. we will go to vl 02n to post goods issue the same thing only but we will actually do the pga which is post goods issue okay here you, you generate the delivery you understand the difference you generate this delivery document but you post this document with this transaction code okay okay so this is the transaction code the moment i click it it will come here only Okay. check it will go to vl03m which is display you click on change it will go to vl chair display i mean from display to change which is vl02n okay now in the picking tab you need to manually enter how much you are from which storage location how much quantities you are actually you have picked okay though the delivery quantity in the document says 10 how much the warehouse picker is picking he will enter it manually here okay so the moment you enter it you are clear with this mm -hmm. now if you see overall pick status was not yet picked now you click enter and if you save it, it will say, you see, it is fully picked now. Because 10 and 10, it is completely picked. Now you can click on post goods issue. Now what happens, you see. Oh, I got posting period. There is the item over there. 01, 03, 2007. Ah, what is that? 7, right? Yeah, 2007. Yep. Wait, we'll come back. We have to change the date everywhere. Zero one zero three two thousand seven. This one is zero one zero three two thousand seven. Okay. Loading zero one zero three two thousand seven. Transport is also hmm. how you post it.
There was a billing date that was 2020. I changed. Okay. Document it. This is not to do. There's one more date in the table. Where? Staging it. Uh, what is that? Can change the act. Oh, that will not actually impact. The Article problem is available. The date is the problem, I believe. Check if there are anywhere. I don't think anywhere else the date is there. Document it. This is okay. This system will not check. Fuck, okay. oh, man. I think the article availability date is what it is hitting. There is no other way we have to do this. That is the problem with copying the old ones.
material valuation record already exist okay. oh god we have created article document that is why we could not change it really. only possible way is to do this one mmpv only the no, month wise Hmm. What else to do? And the above is uh, company coach. Not sure if I can do this, this allow or not. What is this? Uh, five we have to give, right? Yeah, we closed four.
Oh God. I will find a way. Uh, I think I will try to do this uh, LSMW so that uh, we can do mass update. I'll try to see if this is possible. This I have done like ages ago. This is sometimes create some issues. Why this is not okay. Let me the various steps involved for uploading the master data by using the transaction LSMW. Descriptions. It will ask you the trans and the description is nothing but change. I mean, I'm going to check exact transaction, going to do some, do some changes in channel. To have a better idea, just go and click the button default all so the system automatically maps the this is the initial I think this will not allow.
Uh, ZK01, ZK01. Now this time we have to give 06 2007. Field name with a description and what we have, what I'm going to map. This is the field name for article. To have a better idea, just go and click the button default all. So the system automatically maps the field name. For us, this is not doing right. Click this and I click on default all. It says no default name could be found for field. I could not. Oh man, this will not work, I believe. I could not set this. Only if I set this, I will be able to proceed. I'm not sure this will allow or not. Think there is a here what we can do. It is 5775, correct? That alone we will note it.
what is today's date uh, 20th september 2020 okay then top one person in one p could be mmpi mmpi now we have to give 05 correct or 06 Zero six also we already did no zero seven I think. Now this month is nine. This is stop all processing run T code within with correct period. Okay. No current. This is Indian calendar, right? So March is the April is the first month. May, June, July, August, September, October. So it should be zero seven, two thousand twenty. Let's do this way. Why does it say that?
yes, 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 yes. It has come. Oh, wow. <laughs> Finally. Slash and BL02 again. Slash and MMRB, it is in 5 2020. So, your voice is breaking. No, I'm asked. I just need to change it to 2020, sorry, ZK01, ZK01, 6, 2020. What did I give you? 5 or 6 I did I give? 6 I did. Current period is 5 Eighth month, right? Or ninth month? Ninth month. This is ninth, yeah. Now, should I give ninth month? Already, we gave ninth month. Finally posted, man. Oh my god. Okay, so now if you look at this 100, 10 quantities would be reduced, but it does not come to the receiving store. You understood? Where did that 10 stop? It has gone to stock and transit MB5T. Okay, now this is the stock receiving site is this one. You give it, it will come along with what purchasing a document this is, and it is in tenant stock. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now the moment I do slash and my go. Puts the receipt against the outbound delivery 80021, right? Mm. If you take this one and do item OK, post. Now, if you go and check this stock in transit, it will not be there. Nothing will be there because we have done the invert. Now, you go and check here, this the stock will be here. 
upward i mean against st1 it will be updated clear stock has now reached store this is how you do the yeah sorry no no complete please now this is how the stock is transferred via two step processing you do a uh what do you say first you create a pivo then you create an outbound delivery then you do a pgi then finally you do a migo at the receiving site okay okay this is the transfer this is the way flow process flow that it works okay so uh, there in i think vl02 we were uh, entering data for picking in uh, i think transport also right there were three four tabs we that we put entered, in the data yeah we just entered what is the picking quantity so that yes. picking means it is uh, picked by the in, in yes. transit or we have pickers so you create a delivery document and you give that delivery document to the warehouse picker okay mm. and that warehouse picker will take that delivery document and go and pick the doc, uh, uh, items and bring it to the staging area and after that he will the warehouse uh, guy will load into the truck that meaning he will do the pgi and he will load it to the truck that's it okay that's the process so clear up to now so that's how the end to end the p2p now one important step here is with respect to retail one small thing that we can play around with the uh, structured articles so if you go to logistic central okay i will explain you the scenario first mm. say for instance you have a pre pack sales set and display right so pre pack is something that you order to the vendor as a pre pack itself but when it goes to the store you will not sell it as a pre pack itself right you will sell it as a component article only because you would have ordered uh 10 sizes of shoes 100 pieces uh, yeah nine sizes of shoes 50 pieces everything you put it into one as a pre pack and you would have ordered but when it reaches dc you will dismantle that and you will put that and you will send it to the stores as individual size boxes right are you with me yeah so i will be speaking in dc when this pre pack is coming say dc to and vendor so you when in vendor you order as a pre pack okay and you receive when you receive at the dc it should the inventory should be automatically converted from pre pack to components correct right and when you transfer the stock to store it will be also updated in components correct mm -hmm. whereas in for sales set you will not buy it from vendor but instead you will create sales set here sorry here it will be only components okay when it comes to store they create a sales set because in order to boost the sales correct okay this is for sales set but for display either it can be as a display itself here or you can here also you can keep it as display or you can transfer it to component because dependent on the need correct so in order to play how do you do that because if it is a, this is a separate article and this is a separate article how do i transfer the inventory automatically that configuration only we are going to see okay under retail specific settings you have something called structured article settings for structured articles under that you have structured article in logistic process here it is okay here how do you want to 
display or maintain the inventory at pre i mean purchase orders and goods received 100 is for purchase order and 200 is for goods received ideally 100 purchase order actually the inventory is not updated with the purchasing document right only when you do a goods receipt is the inventory is updated but when you do a in the purchase order how the document is displayed that's what it it actually means so we will directly go to 200 I will see show here. So it will say for pre pack when it is received at site category store, how the inventory should be there. Should that be exploded to components or it should be retained at the header level or not? That's what zero means do not explode. So the inventory will be still remain as it is in the header article itself. If it is one, it will be exploded. So here, if you say pre pack 10 is sales set. So we say do not export. So let's take first is pre pack. Uh, 11 is pre pack. Okay. So 11 pre pack. When I receive at DC, what it should do? Okay. So A is store, B is DC. So what I'm saying, when I receive it at DC, do not export. But when I receive it at store, you explore. Okay. But ideally, what we can do i will show you how to i invert the stock for one prepack article in the dc then when i transfer it to the store how it works you see class and me 21 m so remember we are not exploding okay mm -hmm. and similarly same settings i will keep it for purchase order 11 so in both the cases i have set exploded okay so see what is the difference NB is the standard PO and what is our prepack article ID? 30. Okay. N quantities to site ZDP1 and 1000. Okay. Now if you can see this article will be with Vendor is okay. Now you get this is exploded and it shows what are the components under the prepack article 10, 11, 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what it means when it is coming to explode into the purchase order. Actually, there is no uh, background uh, implications, it is just to show the uh, user okay, if it, this is the prepack and this is the article that it contains. Clear? Um, Any doubt? So explode means whenever you just create a purchase order, it, it will show the components, -comp underneath components it. here. Yeah, it so will show what say, components underneath it. Okay, if you say do not explode, it will just say the first line item that is right. 10 exactly. US prepack. Okay. Exactly, yeah, it will just display 10 only. It will not display 11 and 12. Okay? Now I'm saving it. Now for this pre pack, I will display this is the purchasing document I'm going to do a goods receipt now slash and my go okay okay now if you see I will explore how I will post it, okay? Because since I did not explore, it didn't uh, post. Article document posted. So, so this is because we are not exploding at site uh, store level. That is why it is not DC level. The and the inventory will also be stored at the DC level only. See, last and MB 52 
ओके नाउ इफ आई डिस्प्ले थर्टी ओके हाउ मच वी डिड ट्वेंटी ओनली वी डिड राइट Ten quantities only be ordered. Okay, so these are the other components. So I will copy these as well into the item so that we have a clear cut idea. Okay, so these have twenty zero and two seven zero also has twenty and this also has twenty. Okay. Because that the generic article level we included only twenty. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to transfer this stock from DC to store. Okay. So slash n me twenty one here. UB stock transport order. Supplying plant is ZTC one. Article is thirty, right? Yeah. Thirty, right? Yeah. I'm going to transfer only five pieces. So is it ST one storage location is thousand? Okay. Now this will explode, correct? Because in store uh, this level, what is that? Purchase order level we have already set it to explode one zero two. This is one zero two. Now let's do Migo. Here, what we said, we set it to explode. Correct. Not to explode. No, no. Here, we for at the store level, we said we will explode, right? I'm sorry. We need to do with shipping, right? We need to do with shipping. First, we need to send the stock out. Okay. We get the delivery. Okay. Now click on show hide delivery. You will have the delivery number twenty two. Okay. Change it. Go to clicking tab. Click on I. Press P G I. Now the stock has. Gone out, correct. So it is twenty, twenty, twenty. Now, if you see, it will be fifteen, and nothing will be updated at the store. Mm. Okay, nothing is updated. It will be in stock and transit. Mm. Now I'm going to do Migo. Flash and Migo. It is one zero. Remove this thing. I will bring it from the dock. Okay. Now you see it got displayed because we have exploded. Okay, automatically. Now I click on item OK, then post it. Okay. Valuation price is zero, so I think we will do. We'll just do an update here. So K zero one. Site is ZST one.
okay document posted now you go and check the inventory okay now go and where is that Okay, that screen gone. Oh, slash an MB fifty two. Okay, thirty two seven zero zero one. Right? Yeah. Two seven zero zero four. Now this is ZDP one, ZST one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we will check. So for thirty at the store level, it is zero only still. But for two seven zero zero one and zero zero four. The store uh, at store level it got updated five and five clear. Is that clear? Yeah. So that's how the inventory can be split at. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, something that you can play around. So this is the same thing will apply for prepack sales set and other two steps like sales set and components also. I mean display also you can play around. That's the same config. Okay, so from yesterday and today we did creating purchasing orders from and uh, goods inwards from the vendor to DC. Yes. And today we did transport from DC to store a two-step process. Correct. Okay. So okay. along with that, we also saw that uh, with the retail specific article types like component i mean display bring back how we can play around mm -hmm. with, with the inventory at the header level and the components okay so that will summarize your entire procure to pay like receiving the stock moving the stock everything okay <clears throat> and uh, if it was a one step process we would have directly go, went to the store and received the stock at the store level without no, the, creating the, that, uh, the moment we do the pgi it will update the stock at the receiving end okay so, so for no that, need to I manually convert where it is mm -hmm. i'll show you the configuration where it is but we cannot do because we have activated two step step because it's the same site right right so go to material management Purchasing, go to purchase order, under purchase order, set up stock transport order, no, no not here, wait, ah, here it is, assign document type, one step procedure under delivery tolerance, right, here you have to just go and select, supplying site is ZDC1. Okay, here you have to press entry. Simple. So, okay. supplying site DC1, and what is the receiving site? And for that, UV, you have to just you press enter automatically. Uh, one second. If you read this, it will explain you. The supplying plant and receiving plant belong to the same company. Go choose the document type UV. Okay, so it is a our system intra company. So it is like both these sites will belong to the same company code. So use the document type. Okay, so so if you use your own document type, I mean that's what in this step you define which document type is to be used for certain combination of supplying plant and business. Okay? So in the end, user uses a different. Ah, here it is. Depending on the supplying and the issuing plant, you can also specify whether or not stock transfer is to be executed according to one-step procedure. With one-step procedure, the goods receipt in the receiving plant is posted at the same time as the goods issue at the issuing plant. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just need to make an entry here. That's it. Okay. Yes, sir. That's it. So I had it for today. I believe I think I was able to. Okay, so we completed uh, P2P. Yes, exactly.
So next step, we will see release strategy. In purchase order itself, if you want to control with release mechanism, like if it goes with uh, higher uh, purchasing values, it will go for approvals. That we will okay. see. After that, we will start to retail pricing, then retail promotions, then allocation table, then finally uh, this one, store uh, related stuffs. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, okay. So that's it for today. I had. So let's meet then next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.